Hello, hello, it's Kara from the Hooting Pirate. Welcome, welcome uh, everyone who's new. If you like what you see, subscribe. I make lots of videos here on how to make your planner pretty. And over on my site, the Hooting Pirate, I have lots of um, tips and tricks to keep yourself organized. So a nice mix. This is my new toy, my Filofax Malden. It's the Kingfisher Blue and I absolutely love it. And we're gonna, uh, we're gonna do the puppets today. But first I want to show you the pockets, how they're this way. And I think this is my first planner, whether like that, maybe not, but I haven't had one in a while. I'm used to pockets that go this way. So we're going to, I like a challenge. So today we're going to fill these up and I have some tips and tricks for you to, um, to maximize the space, but also keep things neat and pretty. Because if you look, I put my whole hand in there. And if I was to just put something here, like that looks really pretty. This is from, um, Pink Fresh Studios. It looks really nice because it's almost the exact width, whatever, but as soon as I move it around, like I hit it, it's going to get lost in there. So I have a nice little trick where I take a piece of cardstock that I'm, you're not going to see, and I will actually tape elements to the cardstock, and then I can put the cardstock in, and you won't see it. So we're going to do that. So I'm just going to run a little bit of, I'm not going to put it all the way down because it's, it's don't think, and I have the doily here because I love doilies. I always start with the doily and I'll tell you why in a little bit, but I don't want to um, put too much, I don't want too much of this on top of the pink. I want just a little bit. So I didn't want to put too much adhesive too far down onto the pink. So let's go ahead and stick that in. Actually, I'm going to wait. We're going to start at the back and go back too. So we'll leave those. I want to put those. Um, I want to put those in. This is also from, I have a, a sheet and I cut up. Do I have any remnants left? Yeah. Well, <laughs> not much. I thought it was, I was going to pull it out. No, I thought it was going to be a whole sheet. It's like, here it is. So it was um, a sheet like this and I cut apart. So these cut apart sheets are fantastic for um, filling up your planner pockets. Um, we'll use those later. So let's start this back one. So, I have another one. So what I'm going to do is just, I'm going to just do it on this and then when we're all done, I'm going to stick it in here. And now I have another tip for you. I have a little pile of uh, die cuts. So I have some more, oh, no, these are all actually die cuts. These are Vicky Booten's, um, is it this? No, but it's Vicky Booten's line and they are super fun so let's just do it this way so i can see what i'm doing and what i want to do is just sort of arrange them like this i like this gold in the holes it's notebook paper so cute just want to arrange them how i like so they're sticking out and the idea with the best thing when you're doing pockets is to have a, a variety of shapes and sizes and you're just going to have a little bit peeking out, so you don't want a lot of words, like, fun here. Unless it's right at the edge, you're not going to be able to see it. So um, this is more for the shape of the, um, of the die cut and not the color. And then I'm going to teach you a little thing, because if I just put that in there, it's all going to get lost. It's all going to get all, it's all going to fall down inside. But if I use my adhesive, I won't be able to use these die cuts again. When I change the pockets up, it'll just... They'll be all ripped and stuff. So I'm going to take some washi and I'm going to put it on the back of my hand to take some of the sticky off because some washi, not all washi, but some washi will actually um, stick really tight. I'm sure you've noticed this. will stick really tight to your paper and then when you pull it up, it'll rip. So that's, I want that crooked there. So it's just lightly stuck to the paper, but Maybe I'll put another bit on the back, but the washi will hold it enough so that it won't get lost down inside the pockets. Oof. Now you think I'm wasting this beautiful washi, but I've got a lot, so, and I never, it's really rare for me to use up an entire washi roll, so. I like to use the pretty stuff. Weather, well, unless it gets really low and then I keep it for projects, but I like this. All right, so let's see if that's gonna stay. Perfect. I love it. 
Okay, and also when you're doing the last pocket, you want to be careful of where the rings are. So make sure that this flower is kind of banging into the ring. But um, no, I think it'll be all right. It's just a wash on my finger. It's just just touching, and that'll give it a little bit of doggy earedness without um, without ruining it. I don't think. Otherwise, I can push it in just a little bit more. There, I'm happy with that one. Let's go on to the next set of pockets. These ones are actually pretty tight. I can see this one, my hand goes all the way down to the bottom. But this one, it stops where this stitching is, right? Well, actually, it's not this stitching. It's a little bit past. And this one is the same. So it's basically credit card size. So you can put your credit cards in here. But we want to add a variety of shapes so it doesn't look like we just have um, credit cards in there, right? So. These are actually still square. This is from that sheet, and this is from the Vicky Booten um, pack. But I just want to add them in there, and these won't get lost because if they do, like the furthest it's going to go down is there, and I can just pull them out. I'm not going to have to go hunting all the way down the bottom of the pocket if they do get lost. Um, and then I made this little. There was just so many cute ampersands, so I just made this little ampersand clustery thing, which I think is really fun. So I'm going to put that in there, and I made this clip. Um, just from two buttons. These are exclusive from the Hipkit. Oh, I forgot to say that this is all Hipkit Club product, all the um, goodies. Um, so it's just a button, and then I put one on the back with hot glue. So it depends, depending on my mood, I can put that that way. And another trick when it comes to paper clips, while I'm here, I find sometimes, depending on how tight the clip, the clip is, it could, you know, muck up your leather and if the leather's thick like this is two layers at this part and this is a tiny little um paper clip and it's it seems like it wants to just pop right back off so i think the best bet is to put it on one of the cards that's in your pockets let's get let's get this guy in here too somewhere let's put him in here and i don't i like to put things crooked i don't like them in there straight because if they're in there straight they're just going to look like um they're just going to look like um credit cards or loyalty cards or whatever whatever okay so let's go on to the next one i've made i've just added a few little fun things oops this is from that sheet of um cut apart so is this and i um put a little triangle and this dream on is actually part of you can see where i cut on the bottom it's part of the branding strip and it's the name of the line dream on so i just cut it out and made a little flag so I'll put that in there. And again, the make life happen, we're not going to be able to see it. So that's why I added the dream on and note it, because you can see that a bit better. And this one's really fun too. This is this is also from the Vicky Booten. It's the same as same line as the little ampersand. It's I was gonna say it's fun, but I guess you can see that it is. Um and this one sticks out a little bit. We're gonna put it over here so you can see some of the ampersands. And now we're on to this guy. So I'm going to slip this in. And I'm hoping, I want to keep it so you can see the quote, and I'm hoping that these guys will stay. No, they're not going to stay. So what I'm going to do is add a little bit of washi. Again, we'll take this piece that I ripped off before. Short fits. Oh, I'm going to take it out. I need more on the back. And again, you don't need a lot, just enough to keep it. And the back doesn't have to be pretty because you're not going to see it. Just like you're not going to see down too far in. Oh, I want to see Hello Fun. These are words that I kind of want to see. That's why I use these little ones. Tell your story. I just want the curve of that. Um, make sure it fits first. I know that this pink is narrower than the pocket, but at the same time, I want everything to be on the face. Or I think we can have a little bit of the letter sticking out. But I want to be able to see what's behind, too. Well, that's going to stay, I think. I think we're okay. And this little heart guy is cute. Um, let's stick him here. This is also from um, the kit. I need a pretty pen. I'm looking for a pen. Let's see. Let's try this one. There. What do you think? Let's turn it this way. This is um, part of the card that I cut apart. I 
think it looks pretty fun. So when you open it, uh, that's, I think it's one of the first things I do when I get a new planner is to set up the pockets because it really sets the mood and the, just the design for the whole planner. And it makes me happy because even if this stuff is all blank, I open this and I see this prettiness, it just makes my day. All right, have a great day and happy planning.